Right, so we've got a duck caught in fishing line just under that branch. Uh, unfortunately, water's too deep for Laurie's welly, so I'm going to go and wade in and pray it at full. Uh, these aren't the coolest looking things I've ever worn, but they certainly keep me dry, hopefully. Oh, wow, hello. You good, mate? Oh, that stinks. You got him? Yep. Uh, so it's caught around his leg and it's attached to the actual, it's actually wrapped around the post. Okay, we'll cut it free from him and then we'll try and get it off the post as well. Yep. Right, he's free. So there is the lion. This goes quite high up the leg and it's quite tight there. Right, fella. It's here that I'm more worried about because that looks quite swollen. If you get those two strands there, you should have everything. There's a surprising amount on this bird. There we go. I can't see anymore. Yeah. Other than that, he's in pretty good neck. He's got quite a chunky chest. Yeah. And With the bird now safely contained, Jacob returned to the water to remove any remaining plastic before rushing the bird back to the centre for a checkup. Luckily, after passing through our initial quarantine unit, nothing concerning was found, and he could be admitted to the centre for an examination. Okay, so, I think generally speaking this wing looks okay. Sometimes when they get catching fishing wire they can be injured by the hook, but in this case this side looks fine. Okay, now leg, all fine, no injuries. Tiny bit here, but it's gonna be sorted really soon. So, so far um, from the physical examination the only things we can see is like a possibly like a minor constrictions around the leg caused by the fishing wire but for the rest looks all okay um, resting and medication should be enough to recover Alright, sorry for the weather little guy but should be used to it by now. So we got him just over there where I was sinking about waist deep into mud and we've released him in a much cleaner area away from all the debris so hopefully he should be alright here. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.